faces that make motherhood so meaningful. And when captured in the right light and at just the right moment, those faces tell a very meaningful story. And professional photographer Shawnee Iyer Pothier says with a few simple tips, you can also capture the wonder from your very own camera. It's what she has done in her brand new book, the book A Mother's Book of Secrets, Keys to, Keys to Making Motherhood Memorable meaningful and magnificent. The book co-wrote with her mom, Linda Iyer, and you also took the beautiful photos throughout the book as well. We want to take a look at your family, darling mother of five. How do photos inspire you as a mom? You know, I just feel like, first of all, I have a pretty bad memory, and so I like to take a <laughs> lot of pictures so that I can make sure that I get everything captured. But I just love to cap capture the emotion of relationships and my kids and I just think it's great as a mom to be able to do that. And I've had so many moms who are interested and who have asked me so many questions about how to do that. So glad to be here today. Talk well, you've got to tell us because I, I love taking pictures. I love going back and saying, oh, remember that? Those things exactly you said. You forget about them otherwise. Yeah. So you've got five tips so everybody can have these fantastic pictures like you have as well. You say your first step is to turn off the flash and find other ways of lighting it, yeah. right? Yeah, I think if you guys, if, if you've ever taken a picture where you've, taking a picture with the flash and then if you t turn off the flash and take the same picture you'll notice that there's so many beautiful details that you've missed out because the flash just kind of distorts the the face and the expressions and so I, I always try to turn off my flash and just find good lighting every house has good lighting somewhere whether it's front porch or a window or you know a north facing light is always best I have a north facing window in my house that I just love. I, whenever I take a picture of any of my kids with a project or anything like that, I always just take them to that window. And it just makes a big difference. It just kind of be able, it captures their expressions a lot better. So, and when I first started photography, I always did it in my garage. And a garage is a great place for good lighting because the sun reflects off the pavement. So do you open the garage door? I open the garage door. A lot of times I would even do it right in front of my garage where it was shadowed. But the, the sunlight reflects off the pavement and just makes beautiful lighting. So. That beautiful lighting highlights, I think, the innocence and yeah. the beauty of these kids. And another another element of your style that I just love is you get up close and you're not afraid to try different angles. Yeah. I think that is another huge deal because I think a lot of times you'll see pictures that are really, really far away. Everyone's seen them just kind of far away and you can't really see the actual expressions. But I love to get in really close and actually even just get one eye or one, you know, even just get little baby's toes and get... I love to get down on the ground. I just lay on my stomach while I take pictures of my little girl crawling or little kids with different expressions and or their feet or you know it's just it's kind of neat to be able to get different angles. The details too. The details yeah. exactly and it's kind of fun to experiment with different angles too because one time when one, sometimes I'll get up like on a chair and look down on them and I think it's you know just kind of changes the whole perspective just looking face on on people mm -hmm. it shows off the eyes so much better if you're up above the child or sometimes I'll lay on the ground and I'll look up at them and I it just kind of creates a different different look now I'm glad you're here because our camera at home is slowly dying on us we need a new camera so do some people when they that happens go out and buy a camera bigger and better than they need or, or they do. is that sort of a fault that something happens they do and I love my camera I have a great camera with different lenses that I love but I think it's important to remember that I think a lot of parents go out there and just say okay I'm just gonna buy the biggest and the best camera and I think it's important to realize that you can take really good pictures with a point and shoot as long as you're looking for good lighting good lighting is the key for taking good pictures, I think. If you find good lighting and you take pictures with a point and shoot, you're gonna get some great pictures. But um, obviously, having said that, good good cameras do make a difference, too. So I always, my word of advice for people is just not to buy a new set of equipment until you're really outgrown what you have. Until you know that you're making yeah. the most of yeah. the equipment you do look have Look for good lighting, possession. look for good composition, look for good angles, and... And just have the camera nearby ready to camera. go. Exactly, I always have my camera in my purse, always. And I just, so I can capture little things. Motherhood's such an emotional role, and you've captured those emotions in, through the photographs in the book, and you see that's key, is really to try to take a snapshot of the emotion you're experiencing in your home and in your heart as a mom. Mm -hmm. That's exactly true. Just, you know, a little, well, some of my very favorite pictures are just my kids laughing at each other. Or I think you don't really have to, a lot of moms think you have to have your kids looking, oh, my daughter will never look at the camera, and I can never capture her. But really, when you, if you really want to capture your kids, you take pictures of them doing the things that they love to do whether it's making cookies or playing with their friends or laughing at each other. And I think that's an important key is just you don't have to always have the kids looking straight on. You can have them just looking right, looking at each other or just looking at them. a toy that yeah. they love or, yeah. Wherever they're naturally looking Exactly. There. Capturing little things like what they like to do every day I think mm -hmm. is a great... You mentioned that, like capturing some of these little small moments. 
what would you tell somebody, the average person, okay, I'm going to try to start capturing some of these emotions, try to capture some of these moments that are out there. Any ideas what to look for, when to be having those, when to get those moments there? Um, I just think... What kind of moments are we looking for? My poor kids just think I, a camera is part of my arm. I just have it <laughs> with me all An the time. An extension of self. And I think, it's like, I think that's kind of good to just get them used to that. Whether Because sometimes kids will just put on their cheesy smile for you when you get your camera out. But, you know, I'll get my camera out when my daughter's playing with her favorite blocks and just get down there on the ground with her. And remember that little, she's got these shoes. I've got one little girl who just is so addicted to her Crocs. <laughs> she can't go anywhere without them. And so to take pictures of that with, you know, her... The little things that she does every day is just a, something that we're going to treasure in the future because that's her right now. That's a great tip, though, too, to expose the kids to the camera often. So when yeah. the camera does pull out, they don't turn on their camera face yeah. and their cheesy behavior that you really can. Because, you know, kids like to ham it up for yeah. the camera they when do. it comes out. But if they're used to seeing that equipment out, exactly. they're going to be more enough to be themselves. Exactly. And if you just tell them to smile, I think you're going to get a cheap, pretty cheesy smile. But if you just tell them to do whatever they're doing or not even tell them that you have a camera, just that's what's great about not having the flash because they don't even realize that you've got it. But um, I just think it's great to just capture them while they're doing, while they're doing the stuff that they're doing. You've done a fantastic job. Of all the photos in the book, how many of them would you say, what percentage would you say were ones where you said, okay, look at the camera, say cheese now? Yeah, really not very many. Most of the, actually my biggest tip would probably be just tell kids to laugh. And I think that when kids laugh, they have their most natural smiles. And that just makes them look like they're so, having so much fun. And, and that's really how kids are. Childhood is, is joyful. It's a great time of life. And how great to be able to capture that with those big smiles. Or the series, one of my very favorite pictures, and I don't know if we send it into you guys, is um, my daughter is just in full throttle screaming. And sometimes <laughs> I saw that one. The rolls of her chin, and she's all arched back, and it was yeah. a tantrum moment. Yeah, at its sometimes best. that's the greatest thing to capture. Because you know what? That's what happens when you are... When you're a mom, you, you want to remember those things, even though in the moment you don't think you're going to, but you want to look back and say, hey, that was hard and I made it through it. That's real life and that's real life. That's real life, exactly. Okay, well, thank you so much. You do it so well, capturing those moments. Again, the book is The Mother's Book of Secrets, co-written by Shawnee and her mother, Linda Ira. A fabulous book with beautiful insight, beautiful pictures, and it's a perfect Mother's Day gift. I was up last night turning page by page. Simple inspiration there in those small chapters. So we'll post the information for you on our website. Yeah, Brooke's been talking about it all morning long. I'm just going to vouch it. for that right there, okay? Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks, Thanks so much for having me. All right, also just in